Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. This is the place. This is the place where we review magic tricks and playing cards, both the latest and the greatest. I am fortunate enough that magic houses and magicians send me product so that I can open the box and tell you exactly what you get. I'm here to let you know what your money gets you. Before you spend your money, make sure you come back here and check out a review or two just to see if uh, I've reviewed something that you're thinking about buying. I want you to buy magic you love, buy magic you're gonna perform. Today, we're talking about Loops Legends. Loops Legends. Now, you might already be familiar with Loops. Loops is a utility device that allows you to levitate and move objects seemingly with the powers of your mind, right? Invisibly. And uh, that's kind of what Loops are. They're a form of invisible <laughs> material that allows you to do miracles. And so if you've used loops before, I'm going to just start by saying there's nothing new here. Okay. I know it's repackaged. I know there's some promises about uh, different teachers coming in, but if you're familiar with the product, if you've used them before, if you've watched Yagama Masika's tutorials in the past, really there's nothing, there's nothing new here. This is a repackage for their 25th anniversary. So Loops is now 25 years old, and uh, really what you get, you're gonna pay $25, you're gonna get a little cardboard folder. Uh, on one side is just a package of Loops, right? And the other side is the tutorial video. And the tutorial video is really a combination of classic Loops footage that we've seen before, and some new footage of some new creators. We'll talk about that. But really, those creators are teaching us tricks that you've either figured out on your own or you've learned elsewhere. So it's, I think this is really a, uh, just a fun repackage or a great introduction to loops if you've never had it before. So is it what I thought? Absolutely, it's loops, right? It's loops. There's nothing really there's new here. And as far as it being well made, I've always thought uh, loops were well made. They're, they're my preferred form of IT, even though it's not really IT. But if I were going to choose between a thread reel that's complicated, expensive, uh, annoying to change out the thread in, or loops, I would, I would choose loops hands down every single time. It really is the easiest, cleanest, less uh, annoying <laughs> version of IT that's out there. I think the only thing about loops that ever bugs me is that it kind of acts like a, a rubber band sometimes and it just fires off and you're like, I think I lost it. <laughs> but otherwise, then you're like, who cares? I'll just go out and get another one. So that's, that's the kind of the great thing. Uh, what's the overall quality and production value of the video? So the video is one hour and 37 minutes long in total. But uh, when you go out to the website, the tutorial website, uh, the tricks are uh, broken down by title. So you could actually go in to the teaching and select each trick you want to learn by title. You don't have to navigate the whole entire video back and forward. So that's nice. Or you could just watch it all, all at once. I didn't see any way to download it. Even with my, uh, even with my special software, I didn't see a way to download it. Uh, these are all individual Vimeo files that are like embedded into the HTML. So it was, yeah, you just, all you can do is watch it. So uh, there's an intro, there's an unboxing, there's how to wear the loops on your hand. And then there's a, some talk about the Facebook groups. All of that is done by Yago Masika. And it looks like classic footage that we've seen before. And then they're gonna get into some of the teachers, okay? And so you're gonna learn a jumping pen routine with Garrett Thomas. He makes the pen jump up off the table. It kind of jumps around on the table for a bit and then pops into your hand. There's a jumping lime routine with Mark Calabrese. Uh, he has the lime on the edge of his whiskey glass or you know his, his, his drink and the, the lime pops off the edge and lands inside the drink. There's a floating straw trick with Anna de Guzman and this is where she just makes the straw move from one hand to the other. There's the mysterious glasses trick with Yagama Sika. He makes the glass, uh, you know, wearable glasses that you put on your face uh, tip up on their edge. There's a horizontal floating card trick 
with Jeff Kaler, and he makes the card levitate from one hand to the next. There's a fork phenomenon trick by Mark Calabrese, where it's kind of like the pen trick, where you just make the fork spin on the table and hop up and down. Uh, Garrett Thomas comes in and talks a little bit about loop management at that point. And then there's the telekinetic pen with Yigel Masika, where you uh, have the spectator hold a pen, and without touching it, you make the pen fly out of their hands. There's a jumping dollar bill trick with Jeff Kaler. Uh, again, he's gonna hold the bill on his lower hand and make it float up to his upper hand. Then there's a floating card trick with Andrew Gerard. This is a mystery card trick where it hovers and then um, you make it turn into their card. Then there's a jumping straw effect with Andy de Guzman. This is the same as a jumping bill effect, but just done with a straw. There's an animated straw effect with Garrett Thomas, and this is where the straw is in a glass and you make it dance around. Colin McLeod, I think, has the best trick on here, and he does a PK touch routine with two spectators. Then Yigel Masika comes back with a twisted floating ring, and they talk about some care after that, about making sure your loops are broken in, lighting condition, other loops products, and there's some final thoughts. And with all that said, I don't think I need to get into pocket space or angles or inspectability or slice and difficulty level. I think all of that stuff is kind of known to you guys. Um, like I said, these, this is just a package of loops. I've done reviews for loops before in the past, so you can go back and watch that if you wanted to learn more about what loops actually are and how they work. Um, set up and reset, I think it's the same thing. Uh, you're, you know, you carry one with you. You can carry the little loops wallet with you if you're worried about losing them. Uh, positives, like I said, it's, it's a fun repackage. It's a fun uh, release for its 25th anniversary. And I think if you like some of those uh, teachers, it certainly would be a, f a fun video to watch. Uh, negatives, I think I mentioned too, uh, you can't download the videos. And the routines were similar, even from trick to trick. Uh, the other negative I thought was they're kind of billing this as these master magicians have come in with their own ideas on loops. And really, when you watch the video, more often than not, it'll say, oh, this is so-and-so performing this trick, and the trick was created by Yigel Masika <laughs> or created by somebody else. So some of these performers, they're bringing their name to this project, but these tricks aren't theirs. They're either performing classic tricks that Yigel's already taught us or uh, tricks that have been submitted by other people, and they're just the performer. So sometimes and a lot of times actually, even though you have these names on here, these names are not the ones that came up with these tricks. They are just the ones that are performing them and teaching them to you. So I kind of thought that was a, uh, a little bit of a, a negative as well. But totally worth your money, 25 bucks, right? $25. Uh, I'm not sure what a standard deck of loops is. I'll put a, I'll put a note up here on the screen what you could get loops with, just the, the regular version. But if you've never purchased it before, right? If, you, if you're new to loops or you're new to IT and you're thinking about getting into IT, I think this is a great product to get because you're getting lots of good teaching, lots of great creative original ideas. Um, you're getting a nice mixture of some classic with some, with some new, plus you're getting the product itself. So um, definitely this is a great product if you're just starting out or uh, new to loops or want to learn a little bit more. So that's everything I wanted to say about this new release. And of course, I hope I've answered questions for you or at least introduced you to a product that you don't even know is out there. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. I am not ashamed <laughs> to ask you guys to push those buttons to help me out. I try to help you as much as possible. The best thing you can do to help me out is just push those buttons back. That helps other people find this channel. And of course, that means we can help other people make good purchases, right? We're all tired of spending money that uh, brings us tricks that we don't like or tricks that just end up in drawers. So we don't want that, right? We want more magicians to make wise choices when they spend their money. Big, huge thanks to hocus-pocus.com for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.